Hello once more everyone, welcome back to the channel, back here on YouTube, doing a, my week 8 NFL prediction video. After an exciting week 7 and a 5-2 and two record after two straight weeks of going 6-1, and one, you know, we're into week 8, and we're almost at the halfway point. The next week's going to be week 9, but not this week, week this week's week 8. Week 9's going to be the halfway point in the 18-week season. So, yeah, after 7 weeks, 31 one and 18 is my record 13 games over the 500 mark if i calculated that correctly i did that earlier today so with that being said let's get right on into it into our week 8 nfl prediction video here on this tuesday as we do every tuesday nfl prediction video for the upcoming week week eight starting with our thursday night game this week start with our thursday night game this week guys we have the Green Bay Packers going to Arizona on Thursday night football. <clears throat> on one side of the table, we have Aaron Rodgers of the Packers. Uh, Devontae Adams, the top wide receiver for the Packers. He is currently out with on the COVID-19 list. So they don't know. He's no one. It's not sure if he's going to play this week. He needs to get two negative COVID tests within 24 hours in order to be eligible to play. <clears throat> Then on the Arizona side, you talk about them. They're 7-0, a game better than Green Bay. One more win here in Week 8 than them. Going into this matchup on Thursday night with Kyler Murray. Um, pretty good team overall. Arizona, I like them as a team. I think they're pretty darn good. <clears throat> Honestly, if I, if I had to pick a clear winner in this game, I like Aaron Rodgers and the Packers at 6-1, but without Devontae Adams, I don't know if they can do it. Honestly, I want to give. Honestly, I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with Aaron Rodgers on the road. He always seems to amaze people on the road. Always seems to amaze teams on the road, and I think they're gonna end Arizona's seven and no season on Thursday night football. So taking Green Bay on Thursday night to win. <clears throat> Brings us to our second matchup. On Sunday afternoon, we have like three, four afternoon games are doing this week that I'll be predicting. First one's going to be San Francisco and Chicago. Yeah, San Francisco and Chicago. got that mixed up wrong. San Francisco is going to Chicago to play the Bears and Justin Fields. So Jimmy Garoppolo and the 49ers at 3-4. and four. The Bears also under 3-4 and four with rookie quarterback Justin Fields. He... Didn't have the best performance against the 49 against the Buccaneers over the weekend in Tampa against Tom Brady and the defending Super Bowl champions. <clears throat> Honestly, I don't know who I have to I don't know who I'm gonna take in this game. Both not very good. Both teams sitting on, on just under 500 or close to 500 with their records. Honestly, I think this game's gonna be a good game to watch. It's gonna be a good game to see. I honestly like the Bears in this game at home. And I honestly think, you know, I've seen the Bears. I've watched some of the Bears games this year. And I've said, and uh, even though I, I kind of like them, even though my favorite teams are the Chiefs and Packers, I kind of like the Bears a little bit. Honestly, I kind of like the Bears at home. I've seen the way they played at home. They're doing better at home since week one. And you know, now that we're into week eight, can Justin Fields actually get a win at Keep his keep on winning at home and keep this team happy and the fan base happy and when they play at home. So I'm taking the Bears in this one. <clears throat> Our next matchup takes us to New York on Sunday afternoon with the Cincinnati Bengals and Joe Burrow coming in at five and two, and Zach Wilson and the Jets. So if you saw the Jets game over the weekend, Zach Wilson ended up getting hurt. And I gotta be honest here. The Bengals are playing pretty good. They're playing like a wild card team with Joe Burrow this season. They're playing like they can be a winning team as a wild card team this year. <clears throat> and honestly, I say this for a reason. They're pretty good. I like I think they're gonna be good for a long time and a long time to come. And with that being said, you know, the Bengals are pretty good. The Jets coming at one and five in their first six games. They had a bye week a few weeks ago, I believe. 
I honestly like the Bengals in this one to get would get a win for Joe Burrow. I think the Bengals are gonna win this matchup on the road. So yeah. Last week we went with the home teams a lot. We went with six of the seven home teams, I believe, last week. This week we're going with one of the road team two of the road teams so far. The first three predictions were taken. Pick the Bengals in this one on Sunday afternoon. <clears throat> and that matchup is gonna keep us with the Bengals winning, keep us in the NFC AFC North. It's gonna take us to Cleveland, where Pittsburgh Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger are going in to place the Browns without Baker Mayfield. The Baker Mayfield Browns without him. The Browns have Case Keenum, who started on Thursday night and last week. He got a win. I predicted that game for the Browns to win last week. By the way, I'll tell you my stats when taking the Browns so far this year. So my stats so far taking the Browns this year, if I'm looking at it correctly, whew, overall, in general, hmm. I have to go back to week one. I have to go back all the way to week one. Here's the deal. So the Cleveland Browns so far this year, I'm 3-0 oh, when I pick them to win. When I pick the Browns to win, I'm 3-0. Oh. When I pick the Browns, the team against the Browns to win, I'm 2-0. Oh. So it's a, ma it's a matchup I don't know what I think about. It's a matchup I'm not sure what I think. I think with Cleveland at home, the last few years against Pittsburgh at home, which including last year, the Browns have been able to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers at home in the last few seasons. And I think that's going to continue on Sunday with backup quarterback Case Keenum as the starter for this game. Because I did see a headline saying that the Browns might keep Baker Mayfield out until he can, because they don't know if he can protect himself right in, that with his with the injury he has on his knee. I believe it's a knee injury from what I heard, but they don't know if he can actually protect himself and stay healthy with it. But... I'm going to take the Browns to win at home, like they did the last few years against Pittsburgh. I'm 3-0 when picking them. I'm 2-0 when, when picking against them. I'm hoping that the 3-0 turns into 4-0 when I pick them to win. So let's go with the Browns. <clears throat> Next up, we're going to go to Tampa Bay in New Orleans. In New Orleans, Jameis Winston, the Saints. Last night, coming off a win against Seattle, I did pick the Saints to win last night's game. Pretty good. I got that right. And I did pick the Buccaneers to beat the Bears over the weekend. I did pick them a few weeks ago on Thursday Night Football. By the way, speaking of Thursday Night Football, I forgot to mention, with Green Bay and Arizona, I, have a two, I am 2-0 oh the last two weeks picking Thursday Night Football games. So maybe I'll go 3-0 oh this week with Green Bay getting a win potentially. But speaking of the Buccaneers and Saints... Yeah, the Saints coming in at four and two, with the Buccaneers coming in at five and one, five, six and one, I believe. <clears throat> and honestly, Tom Brady set the record: six hundred career touchdown passes. Only quarterback ever has six hundred and three career touchdown passes through four in the game against the Bears on Sunday. Honestly, guys, I like Tampa Bay this one on the road, but last year in New Orleans, Week One, they had Drew Brees against Tom Brady. Great matchup. The Saints won in the regular season, of course. Again, it's regular season, but it's week eight this time around, unlike last year when it was week one. And they're going to be a crowd, of course, to distract Tom Brady, potentially. So, and New Orleans has only been one true home game. They had a move because of the Hurricanes that hit Louisiana earlier this season. Honestly, I'm going to pick Tom Brady and the Buccaneers on the road this week. In a hostile environment on the road, New Orleans, their second home game, true home game, second true home game. Um, yeah, I think Tom Brady and the Buccaneers will get it done on the road, just like they did in the playoffs last year in New Orleans. That takes us to Dallas, Minnesota. I believe this is our Sunday night game coming up. Yeah, Sunday night football, I believe. <clears throat> 
Vikings, Kirk Cousins, Dak Prescott on the Cowboys. Honestly, I like the Cowboys in this matchup. Dak Prescott on the Cowboys, they look like a Super Bowl contender. They're coming off a bye week, by the way. Kirk Cousins and the Vikings. You know, the one thing about the Vikings is, is an NFL team I've noticed that over the last couple seasons, is this. They can play spoiler alert for a team's playoff hopes and maybe a team's chances in a first round bye in the postseason with one only the number one seed in each league get in the bye week that looks like it's Arizona right now Vikings lost to Arizona but they can do reckoning they can wreak havoc by beating the beat by beating Dak Prescott and the Cowboys on Sunday night oh, I don't know Sunday I believe not Sunday night I believe honestly I'm gonna take the Vikings in this one I'm gonna go with an upset take the Vikings in this one guys I'm going with the upset. I'm taking the Vikings in this one at home against the Cowboys. Which takes us to our next matchup. Giants and Chiefs. My Kansas City Chiefs. I wasn't very happy. I did say I was going to pick against them last week against Tennessee when they played Titans because I wanted them to get a win. That did not happen. <clears throat> I'm 1-2 when picking my Chiefs, my favorite team to win. Patrick Mahomes, I know he's out. Got hurt on Sunday, but... When you score only three points on your team and you have rookie offensive linemen and an inexperienced offensive line, that's going to happen. I'm seeing what's the Chicago Bears, of course, this season as well. But enough of that being said about the Bears and Chiefs comparing their offensive lines to one another. I guess you could say they're the same, but who knows. Honestly, guys, I think the Chiefs will win this game against the Cowboys and Daniel Jones. I don't know what the Giants have. It's going to be, I think the Giants still have a few years until they're a team that, with Daniel Jones, that can show they can compete and win a division title and win games in a season. So with that being said, I'm going to take Kansas City, guys. I'm going with my Kansas City Chiefs on Sunday. Uh, no, on Monday night. This is the Monday night game next week. I'm taking my Chiefs. Quick recap of our picks for week eight. Uh, so, with our Thursday night game, I'm going with Green Bay over Arizona to win. Green Bay's going to win in Arizona, I believe. And hopefully I can go 3-0, get my third straight Thursday night football game correct, pick correct. Then I'm going with the Bears, 49ers. I'm going with the Bears over San Francisco at home. Justin Fields, rookie quarterback. Pretty good. Next up, Cincinnati and New York Jets. Zach Wilson, Joe Burrow, the Jets and Bengals. I'm taking the Bengals to win. They look like a wild card team to me, guys. So don't sit on... Don't sit on the Bengals for long. I think they might make a wild card run this year as a wild card team. Then Pittsburgh, Cleveland. I'm sticking with the Cleveland Browns. The Dogs. That's what they call themselves, the Dog Pound. That's what their fans call themselves for some reason. I don't know why. And I'm taking Cleveland to continue their success that they've had against Pittsburgh the last few seasons at home with a win with backup quarterback Case Keenum, Case, Case Keenum over the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. Let's go with the Browns with that one. Then we go to New Orleans for Buccaneers and Saints. Jameis Winston, Tom Brady. Not Drew Brees, though, because Drew Brees is retired. I'm taking the Buccaneers on the road in the Saints' second true home game because of, they've been moving around this season a lot. And then on Sunday Night Football, I believe it's Sunday Night Football with Brown, the Cowboys and Vikings. I'm taking the Vikings to get the upset. Yeah, Vikings will get an upset on Sunday Night Football, I believe. So with that being said, Vikings with the Cowboys. On Sunday Night Football. And then Monday night next week, Giants, Chiefs, Daniel Jones, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes, a Super Bowl champion and, and MVP. Chiefs, I want them to win. One and two when I picked for my own, my favorite, favorite team and favorite quarterback. And I won one. One no when I picked against the Chiefs, which I did over the weekend against ten with Tennessee. I did pick, say I was picking Tennessee to win because I wanted the Chiefs to win. And I was right that Tennessee won. But I was upset that my favorite team lost. So with that being said, that's your Week 8 NFL Prediction video. And let's hope these picks do good this week, guys. Wish me luck. Let's see if we can improve this 31-18 record and get some more wins. That being said, hope if you like the video, please remember to watch, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends to do the same if they've not yet done so already. And please also hit that notification button below so you know when I upload a new video on the channel. 
And please also stay safe. And I will see you with our week nine prediction video right back here next Tuesday. Don't know what time it will be, but it will definitely be next Tuesday. Like we do every Tuesday, NFL prediction videos. Have a nice day, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.